And now, more Gainesville Game Day. Welcome back to Gainesville Game Day, everybody. Well, just how intense is the beef between these LSU and Gator students? Our own Brooke Rayford of CBS4 Sports took to the streets of Florida's campus and asked students herself. This is Word on Campus. The Word on Campus, sponsored by Blue Highway, a pizzeria. How does the drama between UF and LSU spice up the game? Uh, I mean, I think it's a big factor for the game, there's no doubt. I mean, going into it, we really don't like LSU to begin with, and then that kind of stunt that they pulled with the athletic director and the SEC kind of not stepping up and saying, hey, this game needs to be here in Gainesville. Um, I think it's going to be a huge factor, and I know there's not really that good of blood between the players and coaches right now. With like you see stuff on social media and news outlets, so it's going to be it's going to be a heck of a game, I think. It makes the atmosphere more intensified. Like, I think the fans get more hype. I just think it's going to be a really great game. Well, there's a lot at stake. Obviously, if we lose, we can't go to the SEC championship, and they like they treated us horribly the whole whole negotiation game thing. So I think we got screwed personally, but I think. We have a lot, a lot of energy and a lot to lose and a lot at stake. So I think we're going to play really well. I think we're going to destroy them, hopefully. They deserve to be destroyed. Do you think we even have a chance against LSU? Between us and LSU, we're the best. That's it. we got the better players. We have a stronger defense. The only reason I say yes is because it's not a 7 o'clock game. The fans in Baton, in Baton Rouge aren't going to have all day to tailgate and party, so they'll be kind of calm, but it's still going to be a rough game. I think Gators always have a chance. Gators Gators never lose. We always show up. Like I said, like we better win because we better go to Atlanta again. We better. I think there's a chance. I think if we come out strong and our players are healthy, I think there's a chance we could beat LSU. All right, that was the word on campus. Ask the Pros is coming up next. And, of course, Grace and I are licensed professionals. Indeed. Get ready for Ask the Pros. This question is from Jack via email. Make sure you send all your questions to sports at mycbs4.com. He asks, why is LSU taking everything so personal? So, LSU has no chill. I don't really understand why, Pat, but... Arden Key, LSU defensive end, was asked, you know, for a scouting report on Austin Appleby, basically, because they haven't really seen much from him. He goes on to say, well, the Gators can't really pass block, and only the right side of the line can run block. I mean, I don't know. No, the Gators aren't They're giving really... giving away the secrets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there you go, but... And then, of course, you know, some players are still tweeting, oh, they're just trying to run out of the game because of all the injuries. All right. I mean, it's ridiculous. You would think, I mean, some of these guys know each other because they were recruited together. You would think at least people from Louisiana understand the whole hurricane no, situation. No, they don't. They don't grasp it. Uh, but this really comes from their empty suit of an athletic director, Joe Oliva, who has started all this rhetoric and, and drew the line in the sand. And then you talk about some of the emails that have come out that they, they really think Florida was trying to yeah. duck the game, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. And then I think it comes from Ed Ogeron. I mean, he is a fiery guy, and he's probably been telling all these guys uh, ever since that game was over Saturday, all right, we're going to go play Florida now. They were trying to get away. They're afraid of you. They're afraid of you. I guarantee you, or I should say, guarantee you, <laughs> that he's been saying that. I mean, Henry, yo, 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 football, he wasn't afraid of you. I guarantee that's, that's the case. And our next question, why can't Florida win on the road? Well, Florida can win on the road. They have won on the road under Jim McElwain. They just haven't beaten anybody good on the road. If you look at what they've been able to do under Jim McElwain, Missouri, Kentucky, Vandy, South Carolina, that's what I talked about a couple weeks ago. They got fat on the east. Uh, this is over the last over these two years. The losses, Tennessee, Arkansas, LSU, and of course they got LSU now. Yeah. They got to go on the road and play FSU. Uh, the, the chances aren't great that they're going to get a, a good road win uh, this year either. Uh, but I think that's part of building the program up and, and building it where you've got guys that that feel confident when they go on the road. I know when Urban Meyer's first year here, Grace, they lost three games on the road and, and really were beat, didn't look like a very good team on the road. He changed everything about it, and the, and the following year they won a national championship. Yeah, that's, that's a good point that you mentioned about Urban Meyer. That's promising at least. But yeah, ESPN's FPI has the Gators with a less than 25% chance of winning these next two road games. But, I mean, the players know it's an issue. They're now finally saying crowd noise is just an excuse. I remember, I mean, I'm sure you remember too, Austin Appleby. That yeah. was his main excuse after Tennessee. But Not a I good mean, one either. <laughs> yeah, at least they're recognizing it now. All right, so that was Ask the Poorly Paid Professionals. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, don't forget the Florida Keys right around the corner. 